Hey y'all, here's your Patriot here. Uh, so if you watch Guns and Gadgets, you know what's going on as far as uh, the ATF. They have declared um, an AR pistol known as the Honey Badger to be a short-barreled rifle. They sent a cease and desist letter to the, uh, the company that manufactures them. And if you own one of these weapons, um, I don't know what the, the grace period is or whatever, but you, you only have a certain amount of time before you uh, will be considered a felon for just for owning it when you bought it legally. So, to my knowledge, there is not a single percent of difference between the Honey Badger AR pistol and any other AR pistol. It has an arm brace, not a buttstock. Um, it has a normal rifled barrel. Uh, it does not have uh, burst or full auto capabilities. It's just a pistol. So, I don't know if this company has pissed off the ATF and they're going after them. I don't know what's going on there. But, if they're doing that and they get away with doing it with the Honey Badger, they can do it with whatever they deem necessary. You know, they said uh, it's perfectly legal to uh, mount a, an AR pistol in your shoulder as long as the weapon was not manufactured with that specific purpose in mind. Hence the arm brace and not a butt stock. Arm braces can be mounted in your shoulder, but they are not meant to be mounted in your shoulder. So, um, with that being said, like uh, Guns and Gadgets brought up, could they be? Could this be the opening salvo to go after all AR pistols? It sounds like it to me, and we the people need to bring this to a screeching halt. Last I checked, there's nobody in the ATF that is an elected official. They're all appointed bureaucrats, and as such, they do not have the power to legislate laws. So they need their balls snapped for them, and we need to do that. So we need to start getting on the phones and emails and writing letters to senators and congressmen and even President Trump and let them know our dissatisfaction with how the Gestapo, aka the ATF, is going after our gun rights again. This is a never-ending battle. So, something needs to be done. So start looking up your, your senators and congressmen and uh, start sending letters. Start sending emails, start making phone calls. That's the only way that we have available to us right now to stop this tyrannical behavior by the ATF. So let's get her done. Till next time, I'm Aunt Victoria Kiram. Stay safe out there.